Hey, what's going on guys? It's Caleb and in today's video we're going to be talking about my recent experience with the GMC Sierra that I got 2009 with only 108,000 miles and guess what? The engine already took a dump on me because of a problem that a lot of people experience. This is actually really common in these engines and everybody talks about these engines like they're really, really nice engines and honestly, besides this one issue, they really are. So I wanted to make this video to protect anybody who's thinking about buying any engine that is like this because they have the Tahoes, they have the Sierras, they have the Silverados. They're actually in a lot of trucks. So I wanna make this video to protect you guys and let you guys know about something that you know actually probably will happen because it's you know really common for these. So. What I ended up having is I bought this truck for a really good deal, bought it for $12,000, it books for about $14,000. Uh, I bought it from a buddy of mine and actually I put about 500 miles on it and within 500 miles of me having it, developed a lifter tick where basically one of the lifters there exactly. on the bottom of the cylinder actually collapsed. So now it's got this tick in it that sounds really, really bad. All right guys, now I'm gonna go inside and show you how much it's gonna cost me to fix this. I kinda was in denial for a little while. I didn't want it to be this lifter tick, which if you're watching this video, you probably are too. But if it sounds anything like this, If it sounds anything like that, you got yourself a lifter tick and you're like me and you're gonna spend about two grand to fix it, but I'm gonna show you how to minimize that to two grand and not 5,700 or four grand like anybody else tries to charge you. And I'm gonna break down those costs right now. Let's go inside and check it out. All right guys, so as you can see here, with the entire kit, it's gonna be with the head gaskets, head bolts, and you know, every, pretty much all the gaskets and everything that you need with the lifters. It's gonna be about $435 with parts. This isn't like an issue that just happens sometimes. This is a really common issue with this engine because it's got the four cylinder uh, flex fuel power saving mode. And because they do that, they have different kind of lifters that actually fail really commonly. So what a lot of people do is they delete the DOD, uh, the displacement on demand, and it'll actually you know only run on all eight cylinders at all times. So you can have the more reliable, steady lifters in there, which is what I'm going to end up doing in there. So it's more of a you know reliable truck afterwards but I want to make this video to talk about it let me know what you guys think about the 5.3 uh, engine and I've heard a lot of good things about it but I haven't really heard a lot of people talk about this specific issue with it so let me know what you guys think in the comments down below hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope to help someone out there if I did uh, hit that thumbs up button thanks a lot guys and we'll see you in the next video